What's going on, guys? This is Jeremy, the Centrepreneur, coming at you today with Sample City Number 3, House of Matriarch Edition. I got my nose on the full high perfumery line this week, guys, and um, in terms of natural, high quality scents, you can't beat them, man. You just can't. I, uh, Posted my first impressions of Albatross, Kazemi, and Coco Blanc. I've rewatched it myself a few times. I think it's pretty funny. And uh, I'll have that link somewhere here if you want to go check that out first or even after just to see what I think is a pretty funny reaction to uh, Coco Blanc. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let me jump into uh, these nine matriarch fragrances I smelled this week. First off, we got my favorite. This is my list of ones that I'd already put on my buy list. I like these enough that I want to buy them. The first on my uh, to buy list is my favorite, <sighs> Coco Blanc, man. Gourmand lover's dream, my opinion has not changed from my first impressions. There's a very good chance that this is the best thing I've ever smelled. It's gooey, sticky vanilla and white chocolate with like a smooth, semi-spicy sandalwood dry down. That's amazing, guys. I've had it on me every day since I got it. It's amazing. I don't have to talk about that one. I think everybody knows how good it is. <laughs> the second one that made it onto my to-buy list was my second most anticipated one from, the, from this house didn't let me down. That's Albatross. Albatross is amazing. It's a salty sea ocean kind of scent. It's not your typical aquatic at all. Uh, if you watch my first impressions, it, you can kind of tell that I was a bit underwhelmed at, uh, at first, but after about five minutes, like, it really, really grew on me. Um, and it's potentially my number two right now. The, the next one might be ahead of it, I'm not sure. But it's a different kind of freshy, like I said. Like, I don't think you're gonna find anything else out there quite like this one. It's amazing, guys, so natural. The third and final one that has already made it onto my to-buy list is Orca. This one, Orca, man. It's spicy, amber, and honey. It's like, it feels kind of oriental to me. Uh, it feels like a king would wear it, man. Like a king. <laughs> Not necessarily um, like a western king, but um, an ultra powerful, civilized, eastern type king is what I get from it. It's probably the best amber I've ever smelled, honestly. Like <laughs> uh, next up, I've got my uh, my list of fragrances that, uh, from the High Perfumery line that I'm still uh, playing around with. I mean, I'm intrigued, I'm considering them, but I'm not ready to add them to the buy list. The first of these is another, the third uh, from my uh, first impressions video, that's Kazemi. I'm, I don't know, it's up in the air for me. It's, it's an amazing rose, guys. It's so natural. It's unbelievable, really. But I do want to test it out against uh, my other good rose samples, like uh, Tom Ford Cafe Rose, Bond Number no. Nine's New York Oud, uh, maybe Portrait of a Lady. Before I s tell you I'm going to commit to buying a bottle in the future, I don't see a need to have multiple rose scents. But uh, this one's a very manly, natural rose, and it's definitely on my radar. Uh, the next is black number one, or uh, Blackbird. Amazing black leather, guys. Uh, it's it's so complicated, frankly. Uh, every time I put it on my skin, I pick out new things. I, I couldn't tell you what they are, but I pick out new things. And uh, really, I think this one's going to take a lot of time to really dig into and see if I appreciate it. Uh, the next one is not from the high perfumery line but it was sent to me as a gift with this order, which is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's Bohemian Black, guys. Um, to me, this one kind of smells like a lemon, 
with uh, a bit of body odor. <laughs> In a good way though, guys. Like, it's good. It's good. I know that makes it sound horrible, but like, I don't know, it's like a smooth, a smooth semi-creamy lemon body odor kind of smell. I really like it. Luckily, I've got a, a large sample of it that they sent me that I can check out. And uh, I don't know, I like it. I'm not sure when I'd wear it. I'm not quite sure if it's bottle worthy yet. The next one, Sex Magic. To me, this one's like Oud Wood, but less creamy, more natural, and a bit more woodsy than, uh, than Oud Wood. I'd like to uh, test it compared to Oud Wood before I say I'm gonna buy it. You know, I do think it's better, just off the top of my nose, if you will. Uh, I haven't put the two against each other yet, but I do think it is better than Oud Wood. Not quite sure yet, though. Uh, lastly, I do have two on my, I know, like, right now, they are not on my radar at all. Not for me. Uh, the first of these is Devotion. Uh, for me, I got, like, licorice and incense, and uh, I'm not a huge incense guy. I, it's, if you like incense, this one's good, but not for me. If I was going to buy an incense, frankly, I'd go to Amouage. Okay, last one on my uh, not buying, not on my radar list is Trillium. You know, it's a very natural flower garden when I smell it. Like, pretty much the whole way through. Uh, it's not linear, believe it or not. <laughs> It's like the flower garden morphs <laughs> through throughout the fragrance. It's not for me, but like a white floral lover would really appreciate this one. It's very natural, like I said. Uh, tonight, I actually put this on one arm and uh, Forbidden on the other arm. Forbidden, which I have already talked about. I said it's very good, not for me. But um, when I put the two of them side by side, uh, you know, it, ruled out all doubt in my head, Forbidden is much better, in my opinion. I think it's uh, it's a lot better than I thought. It's more masculine than Trillium, and uh, to me, it doesn't smell as corny as just a flower garden. It's not, it's not as basic. I think there's I don't know, it's weird. It almost seems like there's more to it. Anyway, I enjoy it much more, guys, and I am officially re-adding it to my uh, further testing list. Yeah, guys, that's been my Sample City review on uh, this week's samples. I've got the Host of Matriarch High Perfumery featuring Bohemian Black. You know, overall, this house has blown my mind so far. Coco Blanc is everything I'd hoped it would be, and more. Uh, Albatross, phenomenal. Orca, kind of a dark horse, wasn't expecting that much. Really amazing stuff, guys. Even some of the other ones on my uh, being considered list are very, very good. Uh, this whole house seems to be worth checking out, in my opinion. But I'm sure you already know that, <laughs> frankly. it's It's been hyped like crazy. For good reason, guys. I love it. I'm ordering Coco Blanc, it's been decided. I'm gonna get a few more samples from their other line as well. And uh, that'll be in a future Sample City Boys. <laughs> so I did get a few more uh, designer samples, which I didn't talk about in this video, including Dior Homme Sport. I am gonna do uh, a review, that is the new formulation. I do wanna talk about it a little bit, give you some, uh, some of my first impressions in the coming days and uh, hopefully give you an idea of if you'll like it. Yeah, guys, that's been Sample City number three. This is the Centrepreneur. Check out Coco Blanc, boys. <laughs> and Orca and Albatross, if you're asking me. You know what, just look at the whole line. The, <laughs> there's something for everybody, honestly. It's all so good, you can't go wrong. Guys, this has been the Centrepreneur. Please comment down below, uh, what do you think about Matriarch, what's your favorite fragrances, uh, are there any you'd like me to check out in a future Sample City? I, I'm always open to hearing uh, new, new ideas for sampling. Yeah guys, this is Jeremy, the Centrepreneur. Please subscribe if you like my video. Sample City number three, boys, look forward to number four. I'll see you later, have a good weekend, boys.